It's Friday, and that means it's Fan Mail Friday, but I've got a helper today. Introduce yourself, David. Hello. What's your name? I'm David. Okay. David's going to help me out. David's going to help open or read or hand out stickers or something. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm Joel. Say you're David. I'm David. You should say it louder, though. I'm David. And this is Fan Mail Friday. The first box is is from Asher, and this box came all the way from Tel Aviv, which is in Israel. You want to see it, David? What's Israel? Israel is Where a, is Israel? It's, Israel, I believe, is in the Middle East. It's halfway around the world. Whoa. Isn't that, that's pretty far away, isn't it? No, it's near China? Um, it's closer to China than we are. Oh. I think. Now I don't even know. You ready? <laughs> so he did this super special. Super special. Go ahead and put that over there. All right, it's a white package. I'm going to open it at the top. You ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't cut through the bubble wrap. Oh, well. I will make my way through the bubble wrap. Yeah, you will. And here's a note. This is cool. Trying to get it out ready. Look Whoa. at that. Do you see it? Yeah. It's metal. That. Look at that. I'm going to show it to the camera. That is a. That is a metal Joel bot. That. It's was metal. It, was it printed metal? It well. Or let's, was it sculpted? Well, yeah, let's see. Let's put it right there. And then let's read the note. Do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? Uh, you okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. It says, Hey Joel, I'm Asher, aka Dizing of D I Z I N G O F of 3D Ising of.com at Dizing Off on Twitter. I have no idea if I'm saying Dizing Off right, but <laughs> but we read it. Mm-hmm. Here's a 3D printed Joel bot with covered strong metal skin and liver of sulfur patina. Electro, it's electroformed. So electroforming is an awesome tech that grows a real strong metal skin on almost any material, specifically 3D printing, the PLA or the ABS. PLA and ABS are 3D printing materials, like the little filaments, right? Okay. Uh, see hashtag home electroforming on Twitter with lots of photos showing progress. By the way, you can drill a small hole in the base of a leg to see the BC and 3D orange PLA. Oh, and forgive the elongated neck. I noticed it after the print was done. I checked make overhangs printable on the new Cura experimental section. Hope you like it. High five, Asher. It's incredible. Look at it, David. That's cool. I think I think it's cool. Uh, you want to hold it? Sure. Okay. Does it feel like metal? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Wow. Thank you, Asher. Can you say thank you to Asher for me, too? Thank you, Asher. All right, David, we're going to do an envelope next. Cool. Do you want want to do this one? This one's from a David. Sure. Okay, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to use the knife, and I'm going to run it right along the top. Can I do that? No. (laughs) Maybe if there was a smaller knife. So inside, we have a self-addressed stamped envelope because I bet they're going to want a sticker, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, Says, a, lo- that's a long note. Yeah. Do you want to read it or do you want me to? You can. Okay. Because I don't want to read that, that long okay. note right now. I wanted to write in for Fan Mail Friday to validate the usefulness of 3D printing and your inspiration to print. Recently, the valve in my kitchen sink stopped working. Pretty easy fix, so I ordered the replacement from online, and after I got the wrong part, I pulled it out to search the big box stores for a replacement. But nobody even had a compatible one. I ended up spending $160 on a new faucet to replace a $25 part. As I was driving home, though, it hit me. The valve casing is plastic, and I own a 3D printer, and I have a desire to learn 3D modeling. I then remembered your video on repairing your refrigerator door latch. An hour later, when I got home, I fired up 123D, which is a 3D design application. Okay. And broke out my calipers. I'm a novice at 3D design, having only done some simple things on Tinkercad. This was a precise part with two cylinders blocks inside for hot cold stopping and a block to guide the on off. So three hours later, 
The first draft of a replacement part was made. After tweaking and some 15 minutes of sanding, the second version works. There is a drip, so something is still not exact, but I can turn it on and off and select hot, cold, and even warm. Alas, there will not be a third version, as my wife has taken this as an excuse to go buy a faucet she likes. You're an inspiration to 3D printing nerds everywhere. You're also, you've are also you also inspired me to finish a Castle Lighthouse model I printed, and I'll share socially when done. Keep up the great work, sincerely and respectfully, Dave R. Thank you, Dave R. That is a great story. And uh, good on your wife for finding something that she likes. So we make sure. Okay, nothing in there yet, right? Right. But it is a self-addressed stamped envelope. David, can you do the honors, please? You get a sticker. All right, David, we're going to do another envelope. This one is from Vita uh, H. Vitali Luigi. This is from Italy, I believe. This is from... That's far away. Italia. Italy. Far it is away. far away. It's very far away. But they sent a nice note. So let's see. So on the inside of the note, ooh, David, look at that. That is twenty euros. Euros is a money that they use over in Europe. Oh. So ready? Mm -hmm. Hi, Joel. I am seventy-four years Whoa. old, and I would like to be able to print for my nephew Thomas the Blade Runner twenty forty-nine blaster, which I greatly admired in your masterful assembly on your YouTube channel. Too bad I do not know English well. This letter is translated from Italian with Google. It's doing a good job. So I do not understand everything, but I follow with your interest because I learned many things. Could you please kindly send me the STL file to this email? I'll be able to print the magnificent copy myself. It'd be a great gift for my nephew. I'm attaching a $20 banknote to your yellow piggy bank. It's not much, but it's donated with heart. I thank you for your help and I, and I uh, and, and to give me, and I greet you with much esteem and sympathy. Luigi Vitali. Luigi Vitali. Well... Okay, so first, I want to thank you for this twenty-dollar note, uh, Luigi. The, the the STL files for that model aren't mine to give out. I don't own them. They are provided by someone who goes by 3D Workbench. However, what I will do is I will send a note to 3D Workbench. I will mention the twenty euros that you've sent, and. I will see if he is able to send the STL files to your email address. I think that's, what do you think, David? Is that a good idea? Mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea. Um, but wow, thank you for the note. I will, I will, I'll tell you what, I'll take this note and I'll put it over here. And we'll take care of that as soon as filming's done. Throw, throw, uh, throw him a high five. High five. Here's the next one. This is from James. It's from a James. 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 You right. <coughs> Good cover. Thank you. You want to read this or do you want me to? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to read it? You want me to read it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll read this one. It says, Hey Joel, I've been following you on YouTube for almost two years since I bought my first 3D printer. I have learned a lot from you. Turns out I'm headed to Seattle for a model railroad operating meet month. I'm arriving early afternoon on the 7th. Would love to meet you and see your production facility. Let me know if you have some time in the late afternoon or after supper. <laughs> FYI, I have an Ultimaker 2 Plus, an Ultimaker 3 Extended, a Moai, and uh, let's see. I also do things for my three grandsons, three sons, and my wife. Oh, that's fantastic. Hey, Jim. Oh, and this is from a Jim. Okay. Jim. Uh, Jim, thank you for the note. That's really kind of you. Uh, I don't have a production facility, um, and I, I can't give tours, but I... I if I'm in the area and there is a meetup, I will broadcast that information out on Twitter and YouTube and Facebook, right? Okay. And if that happens to be when you're in town, that'd be great. And then we can meet up for a high five. Otherwise, uh, I want to thank you for your kind letter. David, throw him a high five, please. Look at that. That's a high five. The next box that David and I are going to open came with a note. And the note said... Be sure to have uh, an outlet strip and a small table lamp or some other light source. Um, I have my phone and my phone, ready, has a, has a flashlight. Look at that, has a flashlight. Flashlight. We'll see if that works. If not, then we can go find another flashlight. But let's get to opening the box. If that doesn't work, I can find a flashlight. Okay, if that doesn't work, David will find a flashlight. Is that 
I know where one is? I'm pretty sure. We're good. I'm not sure. You're not sure? Yeah. Oh, look, another note. Is it another note? Yes. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Let's read this first. How about that? Can I read it? Do you want to read it out loud? You have to read it out loud. It's up to you. Sure. Okay. Make sure that the camera can hear or the not the camera, make sure the microphone can hear you. Hi, my name is John and I have a 3D print and I have been 3D printing for almost a year now. I've started I actually want you to read it. Okay. I started with you were doing a really good job. I started Thanks. with the Monoprice Maker Select V2, but but despite numerous upgrades, I could never get satisfactory prints from it and always had difficulties leveling the bed. I was about to give up on 3D printing forever when I came across your video on the Prusa Mark II. I bought one in September and could not be happier in how it works. Your recommendations, as well as videos from Angus and Tom, have made me a much more confident 3D printer. That's awesome. Tell them how awesome it is. Awesome! Now that I have the right tools and know how to use them, I've been experimenting and getting my printer dialed in and making lithophanes. For your viewers who don't know, lithophanes are images that were originally etched into ceramics in Victorian times by differing the thickness to allow more or less light through. A photograph quality picture could be made with the use of 3D printing. The same effect is achieved. I've included several different examples of lithophanes that I have been experimenting with. I've used images and themes from your past videos for most of my inspiration. I've also just started an Etsy store to sell custom lithophanes, and I hope to be able to use the proceeds to fund my return to graduate school to get my doctorate in nursing. I would like to eventually use 3D printing to help my cardiac surgeons and interventionalists perform safer procedures. I love this. Joel, don't feel obligated to share my Etsy store name if you don't feel comfortable. I'm going to share it. It is etsy.com slash shop slash 3D memories studio. I'm going to say it again because that sounds awesome that someone is using their 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 Etsy shop funds to try to get themselves a freaking doctorate. That's amazing. Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash 3D memories studio. There we go. I loved your video on how you got into 3D printing and the development of your YouTube channel. I'm also in awe of your decision to invest yourself into your channel and be a full-time YouTuber. Congrats and wish you all the success, John Camperin. Let's let's dig into the box, David. Ooh, look what's right on top. What is it? Twenty dollars. There is a twenty dollar U.S. bill right here and a self-addressed stamped envelope, David. That means they are definitely getting a sticker, and we get to break out the cube. A sticker. Yes, a sticker, just like that. Oh, look at that. So here, let's see. If you look up at the light, what do you see? This you you. <laughs> the safety first. Let's see. Can you go get a flashlight for me? Okay, I think I'm doing this right. That must be a stand. Whoa. Can you get stuff out of that box for me? Okay. There's another stand. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, and that's I know who that is. Okay, this is pretty fantastic. So let's tell you what, we're gonna get a light source prepped and then we'll be right back. We got a light source. Ah, it's bright. But then we can do stuff like this. I don't know if it'll come through. I think I need to, I think I need to block off the light and then Something like, there we go. Now you can see it. Now I think we can, yeah, yeah. See? Cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So there we go, look at that. Now they can see it. There we go, there's a good lithophane. That's cool. Is that cool? Yeah. I know this one, look at that. That's Vincent Van Gogh. Whoa. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Whoa. There we go, so we can do that. And then we can do that. Safety first, kids. Look at that. That's incredible. That looks cool. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool. Isn't that cool, David? That's so cool. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, I see. So this, um, this is the backyard one. Mm -hmm. See, it goes like that. There we go. Oops, fell. There we go. And this actually has a light sensor. No. On it. Try it out. Okay, the light on this one isn't very bright, so I might have to get a different light. But let's get down to business. First things first, David. Put the twenty. In, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, now you can put the twenty in there. I'll show you something. There you go. You can do the other side of the pole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tap it. Okay, now here we go. I go. All right, David, I see a self-addressed stamped envelope. Will you do the honors, please? You get a sticker! Wait, hold it out there again. All right, David, do you want this package or do you want this package next? Which this one? This one. This one, okay. You want to open it? Yeah. Okay, you open it. Come on! Why don't you just do that? I don't know. You gotta be smarter than the package, David. Mm -hmm. Come on! It's what? like the opening a package challenge. Alright, what's on the inside? Put it right here. Is there anything else? Make sure make sure we don't leave anything behind in the package. Is that it? Yep. Okay. No note. Ooh, it looks like I know what these are. These are Reptor 3D printer removal. It says Reptor 3D print removal kit, removal toolkit set of two. So you've got one of one of those, which is awesome. And then look at that, nice thin one, so you can get way under. Who is it from? It says it's from. It doesn't say who it's from. Oh no! Thank you. Random anonymous person. David, <laughs> give him a high five. High five. David, there's one package left. You ready? That means we're gonna open it. Well, let's let's open this. How about that? Right there. And inside oh! this box, we have. I get a pop piece. David gets those. Oh. Hi, Poppy. You can do one. Oh. There you go. There's your one. No, no more. Oh, okay. Okay, make sure I'm not missing anything. Here, put it back in the box. Just leave it there. We'll put it over there. Right? Whoa! Yeah. So we got a barrel, and it looks like it's got some braille on it. What's Braille? Braille is a series of bumps that blind people can move their finger across to read. Oh. All right. How do they read it? Okay, here we go. What? How do they read it? They learn it. It's just like learning a language. Oh. But it's kind of neat, isn't it? Yeah. This is printed really well. Jeez. It looks cool. Oh, and there's stuff on the inside. Should we read the note first or look what's on the inside first? Inside. I, no, I think we should do the note. Uh -oh. Let's do the note. Dear Joel, AKA 3D Printing Nerd, my name is Pierre and I'm writing to you from just north of the border in Victoria, British Columbia. Whoa. I came across your channel about a year ago when I stumbled onto Barnacles looking for coding tutorials. Barnacles is Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Slash Barnacles. Slash Barnacles. Thanks to you, I'm now part of the 3D printing community, and that's awesome. I was going to get an original Prusa Mark II as my first printer, but I did not want to wait the four months for delivery at the time, so I went with a Wanhao Duplicator 6. The D6 was not without issues, and after a number of replacement parts, upgrades, fixes, and tweaks, it's not. It's now working well. That's good. It's been a good learning experience, and by the time you read this, I will have received my brand new Mark III. I hope that's true. I've been mostly printing functional parts to fix things around the house and learning Fusion 360 in the process. As part of Learning 360, I modeled a replica of an old wooden barrel bank that I have for the Envision the Future Design Challenge for visually impaired person. You did not. I'm sorry, you didn't win. It says you didn't win. I didn't win. 
I've included my printed prototype in the package I sent you, complete with the braille inscriptions. Look inside. The blue parts are Colorfab Ultramarine Blue PLA, and the hoops are NGen Dark Gray. He did say, look inside. Okay. Sorry about that. Had a phone call, apparently. It was important to us 3D printer related. All right. What's inside? There's oh. money in here. A bunch of it. Oh my goodness. That's a... <laughs> How do you get it out? The hole is about that big. So... Okay. There we go. Uh, okay, Whoa. I got it all. Count it for me, David. Yeah. Here we go. Give it a count while I read. You count it and I'll read the last bit. Okay, we did We did look inside. Since you've been getting, uh, been using the Mario Block Bank to collect the money for the Seattle Children's Hospital, I thought maybe you could keep the Nintendo theme going and GMAX size the barrel and use it for this year's bank. No worries if you don't. Just a suggestion. The STLs are available on Thingiverse. Thing 2335716. Awesome. There are files with and without braille inscriptions and optional parts to build the barrel into a jar with a lid instead of a bank. Congratulations on becoming a full-time creator. Stay awesome. Hashtag high five. Up here, Papa Golf. Papa Golf. I interact with Papa Golf on the Twitters all the time. I had no idea your name was Pierre. No idea. And uh, after this, it's uh, this is just information about this. But, oh good. There is an envelope. And David, you counted? How much is there? I keep getting 21 and 22, so... Okay, there's a lot. Go ahead and put it in the Mario Bank. Get that last one in. Get it in there. Is it in? Is it in? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I go like this. Papa Golf, you are a wonderful human. Thanks for the money for Seattle Children's. You, sir. Get a sticker. All right, well, that was fun. That was Fan Mail Friday. Big thanks for your help, David. Thanks. If you find yourself wanting to send something into the channel, the address where I accept fan mail is at the bottom of every video in the description. It's easy to find. Hey, David. Mm-hmm. You want to tell them how they can support me? Do you remember? No. Okay. If you want to support my, my desire to inspire and educate and to have a little fun along the way, there are links in the description that will directly benefit what I do. Otherwise, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, high five. High five.